Right now we are in desperate need of hope. But hope for whom? The relatively few of us who might initially be able to adapt to a rapidly warming world? Or for the overwhelming majority who will not be so fortunate? What does hope even mean in this context? Is it the notion that we can maintain a system that is already doomed? That we can go on living our lives more or less the same way as we do today, in a system which most people do not even benefit from? To me, hope is not about pretending that everything will be fine. It is not about sticking your head in the sand or listening to fairy tales about non-existent technological solutions. It is not about loopholes or clever accounting. Hope is not something that is given to you. It is something you have to earn, to create. It cannot be gained passively through standing by and waiting for someone else to do something. Hope is taking action. It is stepping outside of your comfort zone. And if a bunch of school kids were able to get millions of people to go out on the streets and start changing their lives, just imagine what we could all do together if we really tried. So instead of looking for hope, start creating it yourself. We are approaching a precipice. And I would strongly suggest that those of us who have not yet been greenwashed out of our senses stand our ground. Do not let them drag us another inch closer to the edge. Not one inch. Right here and right now is where we draw the line. This is where we stand our ground. I have spent the last one year and a half putting together a book with over 100 contributors that will share expertise and experiences from people all over the world in an attempt to communicate a holistic picture. These crises are the biggest story in the world, and it must be spoken as far and as wide as our voices can carry, and much further still.